Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris here. Uh, very excited about this live stream. We got the chat going. Uh, as you can see, it shows up on the screen. And uh, so be sure to keep the chat going. Um, if you guys have any questions, obviously David's in the chat room handling that. I'll be on here. We're definitely going to go through all of this stuff. I, I, and I'm really excited for everybody that's uh, been paying attention to the all-time team here that we did with the simulations and had a lot of fun with the draft. And, and then we took it another step with the simulation and just to see it play out. And uh, it should go pretty well. I'm going to give it a few minutes here. And then I'll kind of show you guys, if you guys have been paying attention um, to the to the simulations and stuff, you've only seen the highlights. And I only show, you know, three minute, two, three minute clips. But this will we'll go play by play. It goes pretty fast. Um, but I will show you essentially how it works and, and maybe go through a little bit of the ratings just before we get the game started. Um, and, and I thought this was good, too, to go live with the game just because, you know, instead of seeing the highlights, you know, we definitely have no idea what's going to happen in this. And you guys are going to see it first. And. Uh, definitely excited to see how this thing goes. I know hopefully everybody's staying well. Uh, difficult process with everything. Um, but it seems like, you know, it's great seeing everybody on, on the boards and the message boards. And it's great seeing everyone on the chat here. Uh, it's great that everyone's talking about the team, whether it's the quarterbacks. Yeah, Derek King is going to be a beast. Uh, I think people should be really excited about him. Uh, you've seen his workouts, the videos, and um, just uh, we got to see a little bit of the glimpses in spring ball with um you know we got to see at least one open practice the full thing and then otherwise it was just the media viewing period but it was good to see him go there and uh just make plays i think the one thing that stood out that we talked so much about was just just his uh creativity you know and i, and I say that because you know there's one thing to make the right reads and things and but he also you know he's got that knack for making plays and that's what you definitely need Obviously, you guys saw that with the Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes and not trying to compare the two, but certainly that, that seems to be the way that, you know, the, the quarterbacks that, that do excel have that knack for, for uh, essentially the plays you can't prepare for. So uh, I think everyone should be excited about De'Ara King and, and whatnot. So I'm definitely excited about this draft uh, or this, this game here. David and I have talked quite a bit about who's got the better team and, and obviously you have strengths and weaknesses and and we were able to pick out the, the categories about, uh, you know, wh how we wanted to, like, set up our team. Obviously, I went with the three running backs and, and took a lot, of, a lot of criticism for that. And it's definitely, guys, it's definitely not something I wanted to do. And even when I drafted, it probably took a long time for me to make that pick to, to go with the third running back. But I just couldn't pass on Duke Johnson, the playmaking ability. And actually, in this game, I tried to set it up where he's not as good because I have him at receiver. And I, where I tried to make it, you know, even though he's got the, the physical tools, I, I didn't want to make it, you know, make it an easy transition and just have him uh, essentially be the same player because obviously he wouldn't be. So um, just interesting to see how it plays out. But, yeah, definitely looking forward to Edger and James and Willis McGahee and obviously Ken Dorsey. So David's got a squad. He had that huge win in the, the first game, that 36-13. So obviously he's got a scary squad. So. Uh, big time players over there Clinton Portis you know Jim Kelly had a big game Andre Johnson Santana Moss I uh, definitely have scary receivers great balance with his offensive uh, weapons so and, and the defense we both got good players you know I got Ray Lewis and um, so he's got Sean Taylor so uh, definitely definitely huge players uh, a lot of fun to watch and um, that's what was fun with with this just to see all these guys kind of piece together and what was crazy was so, you know, with Gabby and Andrew also picking teams and there were four of us, man, we had, we, I felt like if you go back and look at the guys that were not selected, you could come up with, I don't know if another four teams, but you could come up with definitely strong, strong team, just multiple all Americans that were not picked guys that played in the NFL, top draft picks, productive players. So it's really impressive. And, and, and you guys know, you guys have been fans for a long time. So you guys know, you know, how much talent has been through the program, but it was also a lot of fun just to kind of go back and look and who played with who and things like that. So I'm actually going to get this thing going and kind of just before we actually get the game going, just kind of show you um, this this league or this game against Pro Strategy Football 2020 on the PC. If you guys are interested and have questions about the game, definitely hit me up if it might be something for you guys to kill time or have fun with. One thing I was able to do is I was able to uh, load in. Uh, if I could just look here. Look, I've got over, essentially over 250 different teams um, 
there's our ITU league, but yeah, so you got teams from the 2000s, the 90s, the 80s. Uh, it's really cool, even even older teams here. But yeah, looking at the 90s, you could just look here, and uh, I don't know, man. It, it was just really cool just to see how it was all set up and um, the way the way the game works out, and you scout the players, and here's all the different teams. Um, and this NFL 100 was essentially the best essentially the best teams uh, in the history of the league. So it's really cool. So there, I know you guys are Dolphins fans. Look at eight, the 84 Miami team. I uh, definitely want to look at the offense and see the ratings here. So, yeah, Dan Marino, obviously uh, high in a lot of categories with his strength, quickness, speed, his receiving ability, then fumble percent, then leadership, RDs for read defenses, and then over here is nine, nine uh, short, medium, long in completions, and then – interceptions is the rate there so yeah one out of nine so it's definitely different than other uh, football video games but um, it's just kind of cool just to see how the ratings work and um, we had fun and one of the things we did with the ratings um, that we did was just kind of essentially take everything into consideration the Miami uh, their, their career at Miami into the NFL their attributes what we remember because we've covered a lot of these guys and uh, just trying to match it up with each other essentially like who was the better linebacker and that's why those guys got um, higher rankings. But let's let's look at let's look at the squads here. First, um, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. We need to get this thing going here. Let's find our league, the ITU league here. Let's just do a quick game. We're gonna switch out. Let's not play in the rain. We don't want to do that. But we want it. We want the. We want the sunshine there in the orange bowl. There we go. Strong wind at their back. Clear skies. We'll set both of these to computer. Uh, you see the jerseys. So I went with the 2001, the green uniforms, and David went with the 1970 throwback, uh, the white uniforms, the green numbers. Uh, look really good if you can, if you guys can see it. But they only went warm for the season. So let's just go to scouting and look at our squads. Um, our team ratings we left those this similar uh, and these were the things that I went with um, you can change your offensive emphasis so I went with running because I had the running backs for sure coaching style I wanted to take balance some people went more aggressive but I felt like with the running backs I wanted to go you know have some balance and I have Michael Irvin at receiver so you know take some risk but essentially be pretty balanced so um, yeah, we, we went with 4-3 and then uh, went with man coverage and then heavy blitzing because I've got the good linebacker. So that's what I did there. And kind of just flipping over to David's team. Favors the passing attack. Uh, no doubt there with Andre Johnson, Santana Moss, and Jim Kelly's big arm. So it makes sense there. And Gambler, of course, David uh, would go with that route. That's that's his style. And then uh, one to rotate between man and zone, a little balance there, and then sometimes blitzes. So that was just something we set up. And um, we let the computer play this thing out, but if you want to do it individually and like you actually play, you can pick your play in defense every single time. Um, but you know, we just wanted to see what the computer do so would do. So here's my offense here. Um, high ratings for all the players in all four teams all have high ratings. It's just what we decided to do and tried to uh, make some differentiations between the guys. Um, but everything was just so close. I, I think that was the big takeaway was everyone was pretty good and Obviously, the top players will get nines in a lot of categories. Uh, guys like Michael Irvin, that's essentially like the top of the top receiver, where he goes nine in all categories, and then fumble percent's only one, and then so his leadership's a nine. So it's interesting. It was hard. Obviously, guys, we could debate this, um, the ratings and, and, and all that, but that's kind of the offense for my squad. You know, um, Again, Duke Johnson's going to be playing flanker. I put his speed down a little bit because um, he doesn't have that receiver speed and that put his receiver rating down to five so good good uh receiver as a running back but um but you know as a as a wide receiver it's different so tried to mess with that a little bit and um jimmy graham obviously didn't have a huge at you wasn't huge at um so he was an interesting one on categories but he obviously uh did real well uh is doing real well in the nfl so we'll switch over to david's team right now so that's his squad, and, and obviously Jim Kelly stands out. Um, he was another one that didn't have the great statistics at UM, but it was a high draft pick, and then uh, obviously had the monster NFL career. So, you know, Clinton Portis had really high ratings. 
um, and then Andre Johnson, Santana Moss. So those guys are big. And we don't talk about the tight ends, but yeah, he's got David Njoku. So yeah, I know David's excited. Look at that squad. Yeah, definitely good. Um, he's got another receiver there th that didn't pop up, but uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be on the squad. And then the fullback you see without the name. Um, so the, the game itself has a lot of openings and we didn't fill all those. So like a fullback just doesn't have a name. And then the five ratings are all average. So um, if we were to do it over again, we definitely would have uh, filled out the complete roster and um, had ratings and done it that way. But this is just what we did. Um, uh, again, obviously a big time squad with Andre and Santana. Uh, it's really impressive. So uh, definitely the offense is, is huge. So, and we'll stay with David's team and look at the, uh, let's look at the O-line a little bit. So this was hard and it's only two ca two categories in ratings, but you know, uh, you know, Searcy, uh, Hera and Otto, we gave nine to nines on both just because all Americans, you know, Otto Hall of Famer, you know, and Searcy first team, or first round pick. So just, they were, they were big time. And obviously guys, the other guys, uh, Sean Shell and Sullivan had, we're good, but you know, not that's kind of a drop off in terms of their draft status and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, David, I know you don't want to look at the O line, but that's what it is. And, and mine, you know, nothing impressive uh, with mine either. Just kind of solid. Um, you know, you, you go, you look at, you know, Joaquin and Mercier. They're both first team All Americans, so they had. You feel like you had to give them good ratings there, but and they were drafted in the NFL, but didn't have big. Uh, big NFL careers and then Chris Myers you know uh, obviously really good at UM and then he goes to the NFL and I, David when we were talking was one, one thing that's crazy is uh, you know he's one of only four offensive linemen who's made it to a Pro Bowl that, that played at UM so you feel like you got to give him some ratings there and then Rashad obviously third round pick and then he goes right into uh, getting drafted in the NFL plays eight years I think it was so uh, solid squads uh, the other two teams had, had bigger guys you know Brian McKinney and and things like that they had um they, they definitely had their their strength was the o-line but dave and i kind of went a different route and uh here we are so let's look at the d-line again we'll stay with my squad vince wolferk stands out but then you know Kennard lang and kenny holmes obviously played together you know solid players played in the league for a long time and uh first round pick you know high picks and uh you know Dwayne johnson i had to do that and just put him at the average rating but it was fun just to you know just to see his name up there but uh, obviously not expecting much from him so but uh, that's pretty cool there and going to David's team obviously a lot stronger than my squad on the D line Ted Hendricks one of the best players ever Cortez Kennedy I would have loved to have had another one of these D tackles um, and I was lucky to get Wolfork when I did but you had Jerome Brown obviously a lot of guys that that played with Jerome or were around in that era and fans I mean they just think you he was ultimately either the best or one of the best players ever to play at Miami. They speak so highly of how good he was. And then David went with Rousseau. Um, always good to get a, a current guy in, in this game. And he went with Rousseau. And you can't blame him there. He um, he definitely looks like a guy that, you know, going to be a first-round pick. He's going to be in the record books already. And uh, I, I think, you know, even his ratings now, we could look in a few years and it's like, man, if we did this over again, he could um, – just crush the ratings and I think you think very highly of Rousseau and, and, and everybody should and um, the big thing that was scary about Rousseau last year was just how much playing time he did not get and uh, he ultimately did and then uh, he obviously had a huge season and, and this year could be even better so going to the linebackers and defensive backs these guys uh, you know not a lot of ratings and they're all kind of grouped together uh, one thing that stands out real quick, just to address it, is Ryan McNeil. Obviously, he's a cornerback, but the way the game's set up, it, it's a 4-3, so I, I put him in there, and then I made David's uh, fifth guy, a defensive back, a little bit better. That's not featured on here, but just to try to try to figure out how to do that. But David went with the 4-2-5, and um, so uh, it's a name, but he's definitely good in coverage, and um, so his range's a little different. But what stands out is, you know, Barrow and Smith, obviously Sean Taylor, Jim Dooley had the big interception in the semifinal game. And then obviously solid cover corners and uh, Kelly and, and Starks there. So uh, really good unit there. And then mine, uh, linebackers and DBs. My linebackers are my strength. Go with Ray Lewis, Dan Morgan. Felt good about that. And then put DJ Williams with them. So and in the back end, I was really happy to get Benny Blades. Uh, he, he had just a scary career, man, or just really good, you know, with the Jim Thorpe Award. And what was crazy was, you know, he had 10 interceptions in a different season other than the one he got the Thorpe. So. Uh, really crazy to think back on how good he was and obviously was a really high pick I think third overall 
So, and then Burgess Owens, solid. Already Burns, you guys know him, and Buchanan. So, solid, solid in the back. Uh, special teams, uh, they're just names. They, we all have the same ratings. Um, I have Bosher, but they're all like the same. Um, it's just to put a name in there. We didn't draft those. Returners, everyone's got the same um, category. So, I'm going Duke and Buchanan in there. So, let's back this thing up and let's. Um, Let's get these things going here. So I'm excited. So we'll just kind of see how this thing goes. Uh, we've got the, the ITU all-time Miami title game going strong here. So uh, definitely good to see you guys on the chat. And uh, let's go. Let's do this here. We're just going to watch it live and see how it goes. So you'll kind of see the nature of it here, um, just how it plays out. And it goes pretty quick, so I'm just going to kind of skip ahead. But I can't believe we're really in this. So... Yeah, it was cool making the, you know, getting the orange bowl, making sure that was right. And then, uh, yeah, Team Lake here. With the squad. Quick, quick first down to get it started. Jim Kelly to Andre Johnson. On the move. Yeah, we need that sack. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Third down already. I like it. I like it, David. We're going to get this, get this stop here. Look at that. So we got three and out here. Definitely a good start. Uh, got this punt return here. So, yeah, backing it up. So here we go. Uh, team stock here. To get there first. That was a quick possession. I'm gonna kind of just move it along here. Uh, might slow it down. And obviously we could stop and look at some stats. So and like you said, like I said earlier, man, I'm going heavy run, and then trying to uh, throw a deep pass. There's one right there. Oh, incomplete. That's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's all right. We'll take shots, Jimmy Graham. And see, right here, we see the offensive call, defensive call. That's not something we set up. But um, if you're playing by yourself, um, you can set all those things, and um, you can definitely do it that way. So uh, it's kind of just pretty neat deal. So we've got a tough, tough, uh, tough start for both squads here in the final here. Going three and out. I don't know. I was really hoping to get this early lead, but – now we're now we're in a dog fight and it's going to be tough you know we i can show you the stats i forgot to do that with the simulations where you run 100 simulations um where it shows uh which team was um would win in 100 and you can run a thousand simulations um by the computer of who is, who would be the favorite i think the last time i did it um i think uh, my squad came out uh 55 to the 45 percent. so and i think I, it gave me a two-point edge so obviously anything can happen in this game and uh yeah we've got there's a first down on third there we go jim kelly clinton portis clinton portis had a huge game that to start it out 144 yards total offense so we just need to keep this thing going i'm, I'm a little concerned though this passing game for sure is really strong And definitely uh, appreciate everyone popping on the chat there and um, you know it, it shows up and we're gonna we're gonna try to keep this thing going I think the one thing that's exciting this is our first live stream and uh, yeah team Lake is on the move but we're hopefully we could figure out different events to do um, this is just something to get us started oh an interception Burgess Owens with a huge interception I like that we needed that for sure man that's awesome he had won the first game too so that's what we needed on defense. We just need to get this thing going on offense. So five yards, man, my team definitely doesn't go deep. It's this five yards, you know, get first downs. But hopefully Dorsey, he threw two picks the first game. Man, here it is, third and four. This defensive line is tough. Can't run, but hopefully I can get him going a little bit. Just need a little space. Here's one. There we go. Nice little run edge, six yards. So, but yeah, definitely want to do the live streams, um, figure out a way to, to incorporate it, you know, um, with the current team or, or figure out a way to do some recruiting stuff or um, just figure out just different things. So, or we could, you know, I've been doing a lot of the, the video game stuff and the series and shout out to everybody that's been following those along. And um, maybe I could, if you guys want, I could do a, a live stream of a game and we could talk as well. So it's not necessarily all about like the actual game, but, you know, talking about the team, either the current team or anything you guys want to talk about so we are on the move Duke Johnson making plays 
We're down here on the 16 yard line. We just need, we need to get in the end zone. That's one thing you learned about these first two games. A lot of teams struggled, would get down there and then couldn't score in the red zone. And it made it super tough to win those games when you're just getting field goals. So, oh, I thought he was going to get in. Willis McGay, 14 yards down to the four. I like that. So, yeah. And, and one thing, too, um, just kind of let you guys know. Oh, we got a touchdown. touchdown. Boom. I like that. Ken Dorsey, Edger and James, four yards. I like that. We, I like that a lot. That's what we needed. Nine plays, 67 yards. Got the early lead. Definitely want the lead in these games early. And then we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll hold on. We got the running game. Just get that clock down. But I know it's early. So obviously, you got to get probably about 24 points if I were to get. 28 maybe. So if we get four scores, get that win. So, um, but yeah, just just kind of maybe some news a little bit. Um, I want to make sure I told you guys here on the on the live stream was just um, got some you know for you for those of follow the series the, with the video game stuff. I've done the baseball one, the Road to the World series, doing a dynasty with the Hurricanes. Check that out. Really getting into recruiting right now, which is a lot of fun. I uh, got the current players and then doing the basketball team. Um, trying to take them to the final four with the current players um, so obviously if you guys saw the first video I did of this it was a spring game of the current the 2020 team of the, the football team did the spring game simulated it out you watched it you saw Derek King make plays and and all that so obviously guys the next step is to do a dynasty with the football team and it was coming out tomorrow uh, the first episode so one to let you guys know first uh, that's the plan and it's going to happen and I need everybody to subscribe now if you haven't um, definitely appreciate it um, and, and so you don't miss those videos and those are the ones you guys want I, I know that's what you want you want to see the hurricanes the 2020 hurricanes in action how does the Eric King look and uh, so I'm gonna do those weekly every Tuesday um, you're gonna see a new video out um, with that series so looking forward to that and, and obviously you guys have an opinion on that and I want to hear your opinion on the recruiting um, what kind of players I should go after um, this the, either how to build the team and stuff so I definitely want to do that and that's what's great about those college games just the recruiting aspect of them so we're cruising along da David Lake has nothing going for him he needs to get the squad together we just need to take this 14 0 lead man it's looking rough though like we need, we're we not we need to get across midfield David you know that Canes are going to handle Temple they don't have Quincy Roche and I you know they don't have Manny Diaz so I know, I know that's some interesting stuff but we'll get into all that but yeah so here we go into the first quarter look at the stats real quick see you guys it went, went pretty quick uh, looking here the thing that stands out I guess is just the total offense the 71 yards didn't feel like a lot um, partly because of the rushing attack hold, held down to nine yards. If I'm going to win this game, that's got to go up. Um, and then on the other side, David's uh, struggling with the, the 49 yards, but he's completed you know, seven passes already and doing well on third down. So, um, yeah, it definitely definitely don't feel com confident. And, and I, I thought going into this um, this simulation that, that we did have the, the top two teams and it kind of played out that way. So, um, yeah, man, fourth down already. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. But, uh, but yeah, so one thing that was fun is putting these jerseys together. So, you know, it's obviously, you know, the graphics, you know, uh, you're able to customize it. And I, I was happy to get the, the – David's got those fresh 70 uniforms on. So I was happy it worked out there. And then the other two guys had uh, cool uniforms too. So Gabby went with the, the current orange uniforms and then uh, – Andrew went with the, the 1967 ones, the throwbacks with the, the gold and green. I think you guys remember that. The 05 team wore it uh, for a game. So we are making it happen. I like this. We are making it happen, though. But, man, the 7 Elite is not comfortable at all. We need to get more, more things going. Team Lake is just waiting. They're going to make halftime adjustments. I can already feel it. So that's why we got to finish this thing strong. And no interceptions. There we go. That's a big first down. McGahee's doing well, having a big game. It feels like. Let me. I'm gonna look at his stats real quick. Feels like McGahee's having a good game. Man, that incomplete's tough. I'm gonna look at stats real quick. Eight for twelve for Dorsey. All right, but let's look at this rushing. 
Nothing going and rushing. Yeah, McGahee's got the two catches. Yeah, I like it. That's all right. Running back. We need to get Michael Irvin going. We need to get Michael Irvin going. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I just hit the wrong button. Just hit the wrong button. We can do this real quick. We're going to go right back into it. Let's let's skip ahead to the let's get real quick into the second quarter where we were. Guys, I apologize for that. I knew that might happen hitting those buttons a little too fast, but that's all right. We'll keep this thing going here. This is this is the one that's going to count. And uh, yeah, another three and out. So let's just get real quick to the first, get through this first quarter pretty quickly. Again, I apologize, but thank you for your patience. Looking good here again. And we need that. I don't know if we're going to get that lead again now. So just kind of going, going pretty fast. But yeah, like I said, the NCAA 14 series, I think you guys are going to really like that. It, uh, so there's an early touchdown for Jimmy Graham. So there's our 7 a lead back. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I think it's going to be good. And, and one thing I, I also want you guys to also tell me is who you want to see play. You know, I think there were a lot of battles going on with the field um, just on both sides of the ball, like who should play over who, um, either a, either a cornerback. You know, I think that's a big one. Even a linebacker, you know, you get Zach McLeod back, but, you know, who's going to play alongside him? Um, I think we'd like to see Avery Huff out there, you know, with his speed. But Sam Brooks showed you a little something last year. And obviously, you know, you guys, you got guys like Bradley Jennings with a little experience. Um, and he's been hurt, so I don't know. I think, you know, Avery Huff seems to be the guy that you'd want to go with there. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And let's just keep this thing going. Let's see if we can get another touchdown. There we go. There we go, Duke Johnson with the score. How's everybody holding up? Run it back. Yep, we're running it back. So we're, we're right here in the second quarter. Wasn't too bad. So I uh, wish it could have been a little smoother, but that's the way it goes. And um, But, yeah, I, I'm curious also at the receiver position. We had a chance to talk to Coach Likens recently, and uh, he is super excited about his group and the things they're able to do. And, uh, you know, with Mike Harley, I think, I think you guys are waiting to see Mark Pope have a big year. Um, D. Wiggins has a chance to even take that next step. Um, so, yeah, it should be interesting to see how the receivers do. And then, you know, the one to watch is Jeremiah Payton. Everyone on the team seems to be pretty excited about him. Um, and, and you could see why. He makes plays in practice. And I was honestly surprised you didn't see him much last year. He comes in early. He was their high, highest regard to recruit. It seemed like he had the physical tools and um, could have been an asset for the offense, but it just didn't happen. And, uh, you know, you see him in the spring, and then you're like, oh, this is the reason why you like him. So uh, he's definitely going to be in the mix and certainly going to challenge one of, for one of those top spots, um, you know, and be ready to be out there. So they're going to go high tempo, so a lot of receivers are going to be out there. And then the freshman receivers, it'll be interesting to see how they develop. You know, Xavier Restrepo, uh, you got Daz there, and then Michael Redding, he'll be uh, – he should be healthy. Um, so – yeah, you definitely curious about that. And even Marshall Few got a little love from Coach Likens the other day too. So a lot of guys uh, to choose. So we are here in the second quarter. It's 14-0. Uh, I feel feel good about it. I wish it was still the 7-0, but it is what it is. Um, we're going here 14-0. We'll see if we can build on this lead. And obviously this game's going to be close. Um, it's not going to be a 14-point game. I don't see that happening. Uh, I've got the lead now. Here we go, running around. This, where is he going? What is going on? How many yards was that? 14 yards? What in the world? Man, see, that's what I was talking about. We've got the lead, and then that happens. Oh, my goodness. That is the momentum. We just lost the momentum. I don't think this is going to go well now. He's got Santana Moss back there. who returned one. Moss returned one. They had that huge punt return for a touchdown in the first game. So I don't feel good about this at all. They're on the move. Njoku, 13 yards. Man. Yeah, this is this feels like a touchdown coming up here. But that's all right. We've got the got the two touchdown lead. 
Well, I don't know. My, my squad's kind of surprising me here. We're third and long. Yep. Man, that's a big... Andre Johnson had a huge game. Nine catches the first one. 13-yard gain there. So, man, and, and you guys have seen Andre have that huge career. And just it was so much fun watching those old games again. We watched the 0-1 championship game. Had a watch party there. Uh, just seeing how good he was is really impressive. So we're trying to hold on. Down to the nine-yard line. Portis with a three-yard run. I'm curious what they're going to do here. So, you know, you go, you got third down from the six. Got to throw the ball, though. Ooh, tough break. Ray Lewis and pass defense. Got a Patrick Nix shout out. Andrew Ivins thought Dan Enos was running his offense. David's worried that he's got Patrick Nix accidentally. Not, not those were not two of the. Not those two offense coordinators struggled a bit at UM. So, so yeah, 14-3 lead. And one thing I oh we got a fumble. Oh no, I don't, man. I just popped up. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, pro strategy football 2020. Really interesting game and. Uh, Really excited, you know, definitely maybe we could do something like this in the future. I don't know how. Uh, maybe we match up current maybe teams like the 01 Hurricanes against the 86 squad. Everyone loves, even though they didn't win it. The 83 team, you know, 91, you know, any of those championship teams um, I think would be interesting. Maybe that we could do something like that if anyone's interested in that. Just kind of we have this game and, and doing these simulations. Just kind of see. Uh, it's cool to see how things play out a little bit, so. We, didn't, we need to worry about this game rather than these other games. We need to get this win. McGahee's getting stuff. We need to get some of these runs to break off. I would definitely love a 21-3 lead. I'd feel good about that. This 14-3, I don't know. It's it's a little suspect. There's a run. Five yards. We'll take a five-yard run for sure. Doing okay. So total offense, you obviously the the advantage there with 177 to 93 because of the score and it makes sense. So got a turnover. Third downs are both teams are solid. So yeah, and the rushing attack, we've been able to pass the ball a little bit. 156 yards so far. Uh, that's obviously not our bread and butter. So yeah, this that running game's getting stuff. So I'm a little worried about the second half. I feel good at the 14 points, but yeah, our passing game. There's a 13-yard completion by Ken Dorsey. I thought it was interesting. We had a poll on the site recently, and uh, it was asked, you know, which quarterback was the best at Miami, and, and Dorsey won in a landslide. And I thought that was interesting just because he obviously didn't have the big uh, the big career in the NFL compared to Jim Kelly and Testa Verde, for example. Steve Walsh is even solid and, um, you know, won a national title. So, um, yeah, I, I just thought it was interesting um, that, that people had picked um, Dorsey obviously that's who I think it is and there's touchdown. speaking of Dorsey there's a seven yard touchdown to Michael Irvin I hate to say it but the route looks like it's on here but I don't know anything can happen we still got a whole another half and I don't I still don't feel like 21 points is enough to win it um, so we'll see here though but only a minute left um, yeah so but yeah I thought uh, Dorsey was certainly the 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 best one, but that was just my personal opinion. That's why I went ahead and picked him first. I, I was the first one to take a quarterback, but um, there's so many good quarterbacks. It, it's pretty crazy how many guys either played in the NFL or uh, what are we doing? We need some speed in the back end. Oh, my goodness. Huge play. Andre Johnson, 40 yards, trying to sneak out some more points right before half. That was huge. Definitely Team Lake needed that. They're on the move. Game was getting a little sleepy a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but now, right now, you know, Team Lake is on the move. It is getting tight. Yeah, Andre again. One more big play. Trying to get out of bounds. Yeah, 30 seconds left. Still has two timeouts. Down to the 20 yard line. Yep, trying to get out of bounds. Santana. Santana is someone I really wanted to draft, but couldn't make it happen. Oh, here we go. Ooh, incomplete. Third and seven. B 
big play. This is a huge momentum play for the half, for the rest of the game, for the title. What is Jim Kelly going to do? Oh, that's close. Ooh, what do you do? Six yards, fourth and one, down to the 11. I think you go for it. What's team like? He's a gambler. Remember, he set up his settings as a gambler. So let's see how this goes. Oh, he's going for the f – maybe it's a fake. No, he's kicking it. I understand it. Got to get points. Pulls within two touchdowns. That's okay. 21-6. That's tough, though. Got to – got to – Got to change those field goals to touchdowns if you want to win this, win this game here. Last return. No fumbles. There we go. So there we go. We'll take a quick look at the stats uh, for the first half. Again, total offense. That's the one you always want to look at. 206 to 162. Uh, obviously a lot closer there, you know, with it being a 15-point game. But it just comes down to, the you know, what to do in the red zone. Um yeah, third downs, obviously five for seven was huge for team stock. And then what else stands out? Uh, neither team's really running the ball. Not surprising considering the defenses. And, yeah, let's just go right into the, you know, Dorsey, 18 for 21. That's huge. Did not do that in the first game, that's for sure. So we'll see how this goes. Got the third quarter, 21 to 6 lead. Team stock getting the ball first to start it off. Uh, seeing how this thing goes so it's cool seeing the, the little orange bowl uh, script in the end zone I think and uh, you know one of those games I did with the, you know playing the game in the orange bowl man it just kind of brings back memories um, I think everyone that um, you, you kind of get so used to hard rock and it's been a it feels like it's been a long time since Miami's played in the orange bowl but um, anytime it gets brought up it makes you think about you know the just the atmosphere and everything about it and how cool it was but you know, just because we talk about the Orange Bowl so much and everyone knows how great it was, but man, I'm really impressed with Hard Rock, how it's changed over the last few years. Um, uh, just to, It just looks a lot better, you know, with the changes they made and obviously getting to host the Super Bowl this year. So uh, nothing's going to compare to the Orange Bowl, but man, the Hard Rock is, is looking really nice lately. And uh, I'm sure you guys can agree. So hopefully, you know, we'll see how the whole season stuff uh, plays out, but... But right now, we're, we would have definitely liked just to get a field goal on that possession, but that's all right. 21-6 to six lead. Team Lake's getting the ball here. They got something going. You know, that 40-yard play really scares me with Andre Johnson. I feel like that could happen again. Uh, we don't have anyone. We got Buchanan and Burns, but, man, we just – yeah, look at that. Is that him? Oh, Santana. Yeah, this passing attack I feel like is really going to get cranked up in the second half. So – we need our guys in the back end. We need Benny Blades to come up with an interception. That would be huge. Uh, Burgess Owens already has a pick. And, and here we go. Third down, third and seven. That's what we wanted as a defense. Kelly steps back. This passing attack is getting scary. Njoku for 13 yards. Yeah, that's a big play. Good Lord. Look at that. Are we getting there? No speed in the back. Oh, my goodness. Andre Johnson, 42 yards. That's exactly what we were worried about. Man, he's such a good player. Down to the eight. This was, this was might That might be the turning point. That might be the turning point of the game. I want to look real quick, and I don't want to mess this up this time. Six for 117 already. Goodness. They're going to show the play again. But... It's, it's just a replay of the game, and then I'll go right back to it. So, yeah, you got the 42-yard gain down to the 8. This is where, again, you got to capitalize inside the red zone. Obviously, current UM teams have struggled with that recently. There's an incomplete pass to Eddie Brown. That was the third receiver. It slipped my mind who it was, but, yeah, Eddie Brown, he's obviously got those three big-time receivers. But here we go, third down. Got to they got to get this touchdown here. There it is. Who is it? Oh, just another player. But, yeah, eight-yard touchdown. Eight plays, 80 yards, you know, keyed by a 42-yard pass to Andre Johnson, 21-12. I feel like they're going to go for two. Yep, line it up for two and run it right in. Looking too easy. This lead was looking nice for Team Stock, but now it's down to 21-14. We have got a major, a major ball game going on right now. 21-14, 8-27 left in the third quarter. I feel like our squad is, is struggling a little bit. We need to get the running game going. I would feel a lot better if 
uh, we were able to run the ball. And I, I always feel like that whenever you – essentially with any sport, when you're able to do what you do well, you have to feel good about the game regardless of the score. But when your strengths are taken away, even if things are going well, it never feels like you've got complete control of the game. It's nice to – you get the exception uh, to the rule that, you know, like, for example, you know, my team having a nice pass, it's nice, but – it just doesn't feel like it's sustainable. Um, so it always makes you feel a little bit uneasy. I always feel like when I watch sports, I always think about that, regardless of what the sport is. The team that's, you know, are they able to do what they want to do, essentially? Um, so, yeah, so we'll see how this thing plays out. Yeah, second. We got third and long. That means we definitely should pass the ball. That's a completion. Duke Johnson. Nice, nice catch there out of the backfield. A run up the middle, a few yards. We need one of these to break loose, though. We need Edge to break one of these loose. Ah, oh, getting stuffed. Another third and long situation. Third and long. Ooh, huge pass. Oh, get in there. Oh, my goodness. Duke Johnson, another big catch. Down to the nine yard line. I, we gotta find a way. I feel like just go, just three straight runs. Let's just run this in. Oh, they're gonna throw it. Oh my goodness. Five yards down to the one. Ryan McNeil with a big stop. So third and goal. I definitely wanna see a run by edge, just up the middle, get one yard. That That's my hope that that's what they'll do. Let's see how it plays out though. Oh, uh, we gotta kick the field goal. We have, I know you're down to the two. I, I understand, but their defense is tough. I, I just got to take the field goal, take the lead here. Just got to get points in the second half. Would have liked a touchdown. I think that would have uh, definitely made it tougher. But, yeah, his, uh, that, that drive, that eight-play, 80-yard 80 drive uh, for Team Lake on the last drive was certainly impressive. Andre Johnson's having 40-yard catches the last two drives and now a big return goodness yeah if this gets to 21 24 21 it's going to be super interesting Clinton Portis we've been able to keep him in check a little bit so that that's good but they're moving the ball Santana I feel like Jim Kelly's doing what he wants we'll, th we'll take those short Portis runs we'll take that for sure so that's the end of the third quarter. Team stock 24, Team Lake 14. Again, total offense looking really close. Passing yards for both teams are doing well. And rushing nearly identical in terms of total total rushing yards. So here we go. Fourth quarter. Four fingers up for Team Stock, that's for sure. Team's, team Lake's dancing on the sidelines. So we'll see how this fourth quarter shakes up. Oh, that's tough. What do you do? I think you got to go for it here. I think you got to go for it. Oh, they're going to punt. Interesting. I think he, I think that would have been good. I think if uh, either one of us were handling... Well, I don't know what that was. Handling the decision. We would have went for it there, but that's all right. This is where we need to run the ball. We need a long drive, run the ball, run the clock down. And just keep this thing going. Keep this lead. But here we go. Already third down. Oh, there's a good first down. Big run by Edge. Yeah, I asked earlier in the chat who you guys thought was the best running back. Uh, the best running back to play at Miami. And shout out, we had a James Stewart uh, getting some love. So that was good to see. Just different guys. There's just so many guys. I think James Jackson's a guy that doesn't get talked about enough that that was really impressive. Um, you know, I think, to be honest with you, I think even Duke Johnson doesn't get enough attention for what he did at UM. Just wasn't on those uh, big-time winning teams. And, um, you know, there were some spots where he had some games that stood out uh, where he wasn't as productive. But his numbers, his 6.9 yards per carry was crazy. That's for his career. It was, it's not even, I think 5.9 was the second place amongst those top guys and that was edge but man 6.9 is is really good and obviously Miami would love to have that for this year's team 
I think you guys should be excited about Cam Harris um, kind of fitting into this offense. Obviously, passing is going to be a big deal, but De'Eric King is going to, you know, make the decisions and, um, you know, kind of run things. And Cameron just needs to kind of fall in place and, and be just a solid, just really solid, and then make plays when you have opportunities. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then the freshmen, I know you guys are excited about Don Chaney Jr., Jalen Knight, and uh, a couple of South Florida guys that were highly regarded recruits. It's a big third down. Team Lake. Clinton Portis, two yard gain. This is a big possession, obviously. Looking for a touchdown. Cut the deficit. Let's see how this plays out. Guys, again, appreciate you guys sticking with us here. I apologize once again for that, that mishap earlier, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Hope you guys are excited about, the, oh my goodness, that's a big run. Clinton Portis is getting hot. Hope you guys are excited about the NFL draft. Uh, should be exciting. Um, just in general, I know you guys got favorite NFL teams. I'm curious who you guys think your team should pick. And then obviously, you know, Miami's got some guys that, that should be drafted, but obviously not high picks. But I, I'm very curious to see how their careers go. Um, you know, just to see, how, you know, are they going to be much better? Are they going to have a Sam, is anyone going to have a Sam Shields type? NFL career where you know didn't do as much in college and then goes off in the NFL and has so that's a big play right there but this this is where it gets interesting so so now we got 24 17 obviously team Lake would have loved to have had to touch down there but they get the field goal solid drive and this is where it counts like I said I felt like 21 points wasn't going to be enough earlier I felt like 24 but here we are right in that range and there's a uh, yeah, this is where we have to run the ball. And I, I've been concerned all game long that we've not been able to run the ball and worried that this is where it's going to matter most. So we'll see how this goes. And Team Lake's got all three timeouts. And because it's an NFL game, there's a two-minute warning. So this thing is to keep in mind here. Um, obviously, just need a field goal. Somehow, get across. There we go. Michael Irvin, eight-yard catch. But yeah, get across midfield. Get a field goal. We'll take it. Here we go, already on third down. Third and three. And we got stop, stop there. That's exactly what I was talking about with this running game. Edge couldn't get going. We've got to punt the ball. Looks like Team Lake's gonna take over two minutes, probably right around two minutes. Oh, that's got a long ways to go. What's the situation? 219 on the four yard line. This is going to be an epic drive. Oh my goodness, first play. Of the, oh my goodness, where's our speed? What is he doing? First down. Andre Johnson having a monster game. 51 yards. He had a 40-yarder and a 42-yarder. Team Lake is in business. Our team is shook. I don't know what's going on, going on. I swear I thought we were going to blow these guys out. At least for a little bit. I thought it was going to be like that. But I know he's got a good team. And I was trying to talk myself out of that. But it was looking so good early. But now... Guys, I don't know what's going to happen. And he's crushing me in total offense. We fell apart in the second half, I feel like. We just got to figure out a way to hold on. I feel okay. Okay, here we go. I just need to make sure I concentrate. Don't hit the wrong buttons. But man. Yeah, this is going right down to the wire. Andre Johnson's got to have about 200 yards. This is ridiculous. Here we go. Big. Here's another. Here's a big situation from the 40. Jim Kelly scrambling. We have got a fourth down situation. Team Stock's looking to, to get this win. Team Lake's looking for that epic comeback in the title game. What is going to happen? Oh, incomplete. We needed that. I like it. Andre Johnson somehow. Look at Andre Johnson real quick. Look at Andre Johnson. Yeah, whoops, sorry. Yeah, eight catches, 173 yards, that's crazy. I just want to look at that real quick. They're gonna replay the same play. But yeah, man, that that's crazy. But you know, he's got all three timeouts left. We've not been able to get run the ball very well. Whoa, I don't, Michael Irvin on a reverse. What are we doing? Who's calling plays for our squad? I do not know what that was. I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah, there's no way we're getting a first down on this. 
Team Lake calling his timeouts. Third and eight. Yep, gets stuffed. Here we go. So this is going to come down to so 55 seconds. Going to have to go a long ways. But Andre Johnson keeps getting 40-yard catches. So what do we got? What's the situation? Santana gets a return. On the 25-yard line, 48 seconds left without any timeouts. Andre gets a catch there, but he's getting out of bounds. So nothing deep. Oh, that's huge. Interception. Benny Blades. I told you earlier he needed to have a big a big pick, and he did. That's huge. That's going to seal the game for Team Stock and win the championship because of all your support. Man, I know you guys are rooting for Team Stock, and somehow we got this win. Our offense fell apart in the second half, but our defense did enough, and we're going to go ahead and get this win. So, yeah, shout out to everybody that followed along. Thanks for sticking by us this whole time. We'll put this up again. Once again, check out the, the video tomorrow, the current 2020 Miami Hurricanes football squad. And uh, as always, you know, you can follow me on Twitter if you want, at Inside the U. Check out the website, InsideTheU.com, for all the coverage on the Hurricanes, teams, recruiting. There's plenty of stuff going on. I promise you guys we're still doing that. And um, definitely thanks again. Um, this has been great. And, uh, yeah, really cool. Looking forward to doing more of these. Thanks again, guys.